I got a little, a uh, couple slides. So maybe I'll share my screen. Oh, awesome. Yeah, you should be able to do that. Uh, Hi. All right, it's all yours, Thomas family. Take it okay. away. Thank you from the Mount, on behalf of Mountain Lakes Public Library for leading another great cultural cooking event all about Indian non culture and celebrating Diwali. So, on behalf of the Public Library, thank you. Take it away, Thomas family. Okay, so I, I wanted to just have a couple slides to show where we're going to end up uh, and uh, show a little bit of details about uh, how you eat this. I'll show you how you eat it at the end. Um, but these are the things that we're going to make. We're going to make chapati and naan. Uh, so naan is uh, yeast bread. So it's, uh, it, it's leaven. It actually is uh, Persian for bread. Um, it, it actually is come, came from India probably 1,000, 2,000 years ago from Persian times in India. The Persians uh, ruled India for a while. Um, so I thought that was interesting. It's usually cooked in giant cast iron ovens like this, but we probably don't have any at any of our houses. So we're just gonna do it in a cast iron skillet, um, which again, we'll get to the necessary 500 to 1000 degrees pretty quickly. Um, so I'll, I'll show you how to do that. And then this is the other one, chapati. Chapati is maybe the simplest bread there is. Uh, it, 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 no yeast involved, it's just, flour and water. Um, but there's a couple of tricks that we'll, we'll talk about. Um, chapati, I, I looked up the origin. Chapati came from Egypt. It's, uh, it, Daddy, it goes back 5,000 years. So it's very, uh, very primitive and very common Daddy, all throughout India. So we'll, together, we'll, we'll, we'll talk. Wet and write a form block. Yeah. Water? Um, actually water. is uh, trying to make some on his own. So he's uh, <laughs> asking about how to mix everything together. But um, I'm gonna, um, I have some other slides about how to, how to uh, eat it. And we'll get back to that in a minute. Let's just get to the, the making. Part. All right, I'll get you more flour in a minute. So, you think of this so it's gonna be so, right? Back <laughs> to, yeah, it's gonna be good. Do we spoon it out? Let me stop sharing. And then, uh, so this is what I'm using here Ada, Ada flour. Um, this is what's commonly used for chapati. It's, uh, uh, it's basically the same as whole grain flour, but it's fine, it's a uh, very finely uh, milk. So, if you look at it, If we look at it, it, it it's kind of like a powder. I, I left some bags at the uh, at, at the library. It's uh, it's very powdery. It's just you know it is the same as whole grain flour, but ground up a bit more. So we're going to start with two cups of uh, of flour here. Um, can this be all together? I think I need more flour. I'll just get the uh, old fashioned one here. Daddy, what about mess. that? What about that? Okay, two cups. I need the more flour. Yeah, we'll get you more flour. Daddy, my hand. So we got our two cups and of flour. And I think I'm gonna owl. Daddy, it should all together be no like water. We need the more flour, like completely dry from the flour. Okay, take our two cups of flour and we'll put it in a bowl. I pushed it, I think. I need some And then flour. we have. Um, I get it. I think I squished that. Uh, and then we'll go with about three quarters of a cup of water. But the trick for this, I mean, there's a couple of things you got to uh, bear in mind here. Um, you're going to put the water in very slowly. So we put a couple drops in, we stir it around. And then a couple drops in, I'm going to just angle it down there. Couple drops in, stir it around. Couple drops in, stir it around. And then a couple drops in, stir it around. And this is supposed to, you have to do this with your hands. This is uh, one of those things that uh, is not gonna work because you're gonna be kneading this for about five minutes. This is um, making I, mess, this is I used to do this when I was a, a kid. So what I used to do is I used to count I mean, the first step is adding the water. So we're adding about three quarters of a uh, cup of water. Daddy, I think um, I squished it. 
Yeah. Jay, I'm just, is the water just, just uh, regular temperature? Just regular temperature is fine. Okay. Um, maybe not super cold as it is sometimes this time of year, but it, it doesn't matter too much. The point of uh, stirring it in slowly is you're creating these little bubbles of water so that when you, when you heat this at a high temperature later on, um, those bubbles will pop. Now, are mine gonna pop? Probably not, but um, you know that's what you're supposed to look for, the little, the little bubbling when you cook it. So you, uh, as you keep stirring it, you start pulling the pieces together. Is everyone doing this? Yeah, everyone's doing this. You pull little parts together, a little bit more parts together. And eventually you're gonna to get to a ball. It'll take like a minute or two to go from parts to a ball. And then once you get to the ball, then you have to knead. And uh, one of the things about this is you're supposed to knead it. Is it supposed to be it. dry or wet when it's put together? It's supposed to be a little dry, a little wet. It's supposed to be, see when you, when you start out, you got, you got a powder and you're supposed to stop putting water in when the powder goes away. And it's about three quarters. It doesn't really matter exactly how much you use, um, but about three quarters, the powder goes away. So we'll keep putting in a little bit of water. I think I put more than a few drops there, but that's okay. It doesn't matter too much. It's mostly dry, a little bit of wet. Exactly. It's mostly dry, a little bit of wet. Keep putting a little bit more water in. Um, so, so should I wash my hands? Yeah, uh, one thing that uh, all the kids should know is flour is considered a raw ingredient. It does have all sorts of bacteria and stuff in it. So, you should wash your hands when you maybe touch. need a little more water. Get a little more. Water. 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 Are we at the point where we're adding oil? I'm sorry, I missed something. The oil is just for cooking. This is just oh. water and flour. Uh, oh, I no see. No salt. For this. Okay. So we're just getting to about three quarters of a cup of water. Um, but really, you're supposed to get to the point that it's, a, it, it's getting solid and you stop putting water in when it's solid. What do I do even with? What's it right now? Well, yours is pretty liquidy, Neil. So if you put some more flour in it. Okay. Uh, so we'll get you some more flour. Okay. What's your So I put about two cups of out of flour here and uh, about three quarters of a cup of water. But it's not, it doesn't have to be that exact. I think one more. And it's like one of those things. You tr you cook it, you try it, Hi. you see how it turns out, and then you adjust. What do I do? You just squish it together until oh, done. No. And that's what we're doing. We're squishing together and oh. squishing I want to see together until um, So we keep squishing it into a ball, doing that. and then we're at the point where we've got like a moist ball. Uh, once we have a moist ball, at this point you do the kneading. Um, Sometimes I use uh, my uh, bread maker for kneading. Uh, you know, if you have a bread maker, they usually have a knead setting. It's kind of, oh, it, it cuts some of the work out of life, but it's not too bad to knead this. This, um, you're supposed to knead it for at least five minutes. Um, but, you know, my, what I usually do is I count to 100. I do 100 kneads. So I, I probably more realistically need it for like two or three minutes. So I think I'm about 15 now. So kneading it, I usually just flatten it, fold it in half. Flatten, fold it in half. Flatten, fold it in half. Flatten, fold it in half. So I'm at about 30 now. Flatten it. Fold it in. Flatten it. Fold it in half. I'm about 40 now. Flatten it. Fold it in half. So 
So it's the kneading that really gives it the consistency and texture that you're looking for. Um, so yeah, if you do have more time to knead it more and you really enjoy it, or you have a bread maker, go ahead and knead it some more. But there's kind of two important steps. One is the kneading. So you're gonna knead it um, about a hundred times. Uh, and then after you're done kneading it, you want it to what sit for a few minutes. So while it sits for a few minutes, that's when we're going to do the uh, the, the non prep And then after the that, we'll cook both of them. Then what's the non The non prep is proofing the non. So we're going to take the ingredients, mix them together, and then uh, wait for it to rise. Get it into a bowl. Oh, just you could squeeze that into a ball. That looks good, Neil. So I think I'm about 70 needs in now. I squeeze it into a bundle. I squeeze it into a Yeah, that's a good ball, Neil. Yeah. I made one. Are you supposed to do again? I did. If anyone has questions, please feel free to put it in chat or just speak up. Just say, I have a question. So the next step is going to be the rolling. Right now we're doing the balling part. And then after that, we're going to do the rolling part. So I'm at about 80 needs. I'll do it. And when I was a kid, I used to do this. I was really obsessed with uh, counting the numbers when I was doing the needs. That's, that's I how I ball. knew it was done. Yeah, good job, Neil. I think I can make a bigger one. I think you can too. I think how do you make that? How do you roll it? That's just flat. Oh, I think I need. I'll make. I need a little bit more flour. I'm just trying to get a lot. Because it's supposed to be a, a little bit more. Okay, we'll get you will get another one to roll in a minute. Okay, so. Okay, I think I did roll that's okay. Wait, I need some water. No, 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 no. No, you don't. Again, about five more needs I for me. Will. And yeah, it's if you feel that it's a little tough, yeah, it's not super soft. It's not like a yeast bread. You know, yeast breads are soft, so they're super easy to knead compared to this. I want you know, soft like non-leavened breads non -leavened bread. are, uh, you know. Much ah. harder and tougher. No, the me... yeast makes things, you know, gooey and makes everything stick together. And I'll contrast the two in a minute. Now, Jay, I don't want to uh, jump ahead. So if I am, just you know, hmm? tell me because we saw in the picture before it said banana chapati. Would you want to add uh, yeah, no, something no, no, to no. it? Can so that that would be what you put inside of it. Oh, you know, so that's not. It doesn't get into the dough. It's afterwards. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Some people would eat chapati with bananas. You can eat them with anything. I've got a couple of slides of that uh, later on, but basically it's whatever you put in. And I got some kind of easy ideas for things you can do if you're hungry today. It's supposed to be dry. Uh -huh. Not wet. Thank you. So I think this is it. I need I think that's plus or minus a hundred. So you are supposed to let it to let it sit for a little bit. So I'll, um, but before we can let it sit, I'm going to divide it into, uh, from a big ball into eight small balls. And then uh, after the eight small balls, I'm going to let those go. Yeah, you gave me a bowl, so let go. It was a little bit more sugar. Okay, can I redo it right now? Should I take it? Can I redo it now? Here, I'll give you a, a small one to make into a ball. All you gotta do is take these little guys and turn them into a ball. Can you turn that? It's a triangle. Can you turn it into a ball? Turn okay. it into a ball. Can you roll it? I just cut the big ball with a knife into eight slices. And after I did that, I turned those slices into little balls. And I put them in my bowl. This is hard. Sit. This is a little hard, but out at four. You can use lightly floured hands. That's what they always say in the cookbooks, right? Oh, oh I wish I could use four. What after, yeah. what after you put water on it? Because uh, 
then you just keep squeezing it together. But can I get that one now? So I Okay. Um, I think it's... You're gonna do two at a time. Did he do too much water? Once you get to the small balls. I don't. Uh, I'm almost because I'm, I. I wish you could use the floor. Squishy. And that's about it for now. We're gonna come back to this in about five or ten minutes, and then we have these flower balls. So this will be add a flower, three quarter when of a cup of water, and two cups of add a flower. I'm almost done. together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think your ball's good. Actually, I'll put it in the ball bag. Just we'll put it in the ball bowl. Just push it a little more. Uh, a little and then let's work on. Um, so let's work on the yeah, naan. So the naan, um, we are going to make uh, with a couple of different ingredients. The naan is uh, whole wheat flour. I mean, all purpose flour based. So it's basically white flour. Um, it's like most breads, but the secret ingredient is yogurt. So the yogurt adds <coughs> a touch of uh, you know lacto fermentation in addition to the uh, the, the yeast taste. Lacto so basically, what does that mean? Is it makes it a little sour? Lacto fermentation. Yeah, you're gonna see lacto fermentation. It's a really, it's a really fun word. It is a really fun word. I, I agree. Lacto fermentation. So I got the recipe over here. So let's go look at it. So um, the reason I Lacto said for me in Kation. the reason I said mix the flour and the yogurt first is the flour and the yogurt are um, you know the I yogurt think, is I too think cold. lacto fermentation has seven syllables. Oh, seven syllables. That's a lot of syllables. Lacto for me in. Here we get our lacto two cups fermentation. of flour. No. Well, lacto. So Put it in the bowl. Her, me, and, and then um, Shen. See? I made nine. That is a lot of syllables. Uh, and then we uh, I made, put a yogurt in. I made nine balls. I made, I made nine and balls. That's a lot of balls, Neil. <laughs> Just wash your hands when you're done, bud. So uh, we put some yogurt in. It, I said put, uh, I think it was half a cup of, of yogurt. <laughs> Um, and you know, yeah, yeah, I said put one quarter cup of yogurt, one cup for of me in so taste. One quarter cup of yogurt, Daddy, a spoon is fine. Daddy, can I teach you how to do it? I think I ate two. Black toe for me in taste. Uh, so yeah, in I have a full of, of this. In terms of the. Why uh, do four? So we're doing this one all together. The next step is the salt part. Salt. So we put a little salt in. Oh, yes. Sir. What do I do for? You can just use this, uh, any what kind of salt you have. Full? Any kind? I'm just using uh, coarse ground salt here. What do I do? So we're, we'll do this part together now, okay? So the next what part is to put hot water in. Um, now, they always say when you're working with these, what do I do for? I'll, I'll let you put this in here. So they say when you're working with hot what water. What do I do for? So we're going to pour this in, but we got to talk about it first. So they say when you're working with hot water, you should be at 105, 110 degrees. Um, all that really matters is the temperature of the water is a little even? hot to you because your body's at 100 what degrees. What do I so do even? This temperature is a little hotter than your body. That's all you have to remember. What do I do so even? We'll put this in. We'll put the water in. So we've, we've got yogurt, salt, and now we've got the hot water. Yogurt. So now Where the yogurt, Daddy? We'll put the yeast in. Where it's in the, here. There are little Okay. I do need the water. So then we'll put some yeast in. I need the yogurt. A little bit of yeast in. How do you like that? Okay. Yeast. And then Oops. um yeah okay. yeast and then sugar. Oh uh, yeah, yeast is a fun one too. We put a little bit of sugar in to wake up the yeast. You know, you want to put about a tablespoon or so of sugar in. Um the more sugar you put in, the faster it's gonna rise. Um, but it doesn't matter too much past that. So then 
So it doesn't we matter. Stir it together. It looks a little watery, but that's okay because yeast loves water. So you want to keep it maybe a little bit moister, a little bit more watery. Um, but How much yeast do you put in? What's that? Uh, How much yeast? One cup of warm water uh, and then one quarter cup of yogurt. And then uh, yeast, I put in, uh, I think it was one, one tablespoon of yeast is fine. Why does it smell like naan? One tablespoon of yeast is fine. It still smells like naan. Is it dry yeast? Dry yeast, yeah, exactly. Active dry yeast. One tablespoon is fine. And about how much salt? Okay. Like a, uh, it's mostly to taste. People, yogurt. I mean, so uh, people like more salt than, than, than me. Um, I think the, the recipe said to put in uh, two oh. teaspoons of, of salt, but that's probably too much Where for me. So I probably wouldn't put in that much. Okay. Uh, Jay, I have a question. Um, can you put the yeast first and then the hot water, or it doesn't matter? Jay, can you see that again? Do, do we do put the yeast in and then the hot water, or it doesn't matter the order? As soon as the hot water is in, then you can put the yeast in. Okay, hot water first. Okay. Yeah, can you split What's that, Ian? What do I do next after the yogurt? What do I do after the yogurt? You put some, uh, you can put that flour in, okay, kid? So, so with the salt, would you say you need about a, a quarter of a teaspoon? You know, the, the, you know, the rest. Do I make put the bowl down? The, 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 yeah. the, the recipe I said put two teaspoons in, but I think one teaspoon is enough for most people. Thank you. But it's again to taste. All right, let's pull that in. So on this, you can mix with a spoon or whatever, <laughs> because all you're doing is you're mixing these ingredients together. This is one of my first times learning the teacher, right? So then you've got your gooey yeast yeah. mixture. Uh, and then the next step is to let it uh, let it rise. Um, now, because of the, uh, in, in the interest of time, I did another batch earlier today. So this is what it looks like afterwards. This is before and then after, you know, after it's puffy uh, and, uh, and, and uh, you, you can work with it. What do I do after I put the salad on? What do I do? Can. Can. Uh, uh, and so. What, what was that? Let's try it. No, try it. Go to the game. <laughs> all right, so Jay, we're a little behind. So we just put our yeast what in, so we have all our sugar, yogurt, flour, everything in. So now we just mix with the what spatula. Yeah, yeah. And it should take it's about two anymore. hours this time of year. Um, it, it, I, if, you, if it doesn't double quickly, you can stick it in the oven at proof temperature. But uh, yeah, about two hours of proofing. Um, uh, I want and then, then it looks it's like fish. this. Nice it's and after you pull it out of proofing, after you're done with the proofing part, it's just a ball. Can I? Uh, and again, you do the same kind of basic thing. You divide the ball into eight balls. What are you doing? I am dividing the ball into eight balls. Why? Because we're going to take those eight balls and then we're going to cut them and we'll get them. Are you holding? This is the same step of. It was a glass of water that we have filled. Yeah. Okay. So can the, I roll these? You can, you can roll a ball. So um, we'll get you something to roll. In a second. I'll roll that one. Well, we're, right now we're balling it. So just turn it into a ball. That's all you got to do. Yeah, I mean, you know, naan is going to be gooey because it's a, a yeast bread. Uh, so the yeast. Also, the yeast made it gooey. Exactly, exactly. Good yeast makes everything gooey. And that's how you know that it's working correctly because it's gooey. If your yeah, yeast bread is not gooey, then you probably need to let it cook for a little longer. This is looking so gooey that I can't really ball it. Well, just do your best. Just 
Yeah, gooey means good for anything with yeast. What if nothing? Did I just hear gooey is good? Yeah, gooey is good. All right, we're doing good, Luke. All right. Now, Jake, growing up, how much how much naan or chapati would you make at one time? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, yeah, I mean, we make about this much. I mean, I think we each eat, eat one normally, maybe two. So this is probably for our, our family. We're a family of five. So for our family, we would eat about eight total. Got it. Okay. But, um, you know, everybody's different. What if you ate a lot one of people will eat two or three at a time. So then you might. What if you ate eight? More. What if you ate a person ate eight? Gone? Yeah, some people do that. Some people are really hungry or they just really love it. So let's get to the next steps. What about, so I'm gonna just what, do this. What about this? So it, I do um, yeah, it looks good actually. Why don't you get, why don't we get you rolling over here? Get this roller buddy and roll yours out. Now, now the yogurt you used, is it plain yogurt? Yeah, plain yogurt, it, it, that's right. Is it like fat free or whole milk or doesn't matter? Uh, you know, more milk is probably better because, you know, what we're trying to get is the sourness of it. So the, you know, the more milk, it's probably going to be, um, you know, a little bit more, uh, Daddy, you this, know, this, milk bacteria. Is, so whole milk will work out better. Yeah, that is really good. Really. Thank you. You want to try the rolling part? You got a roller over there. So I'm going to just, uh, um, I'm going to just roll out one. Chapati and one naan. Well, so they look kind of the same. The, uh, the, the naan's a little bit bigger because it's risen a little bit. Chapati's a little bit smaller. Why? Because it hasn't risen. It's not a yeast bread. And so I always put plenty of flour. Oh, to... because uh, yeast rises. Just like exactly. you told me yeast. the bread for the peanut butter and jelly. Exactly. Yeast makes everything bigger and better. Yes, make also make so, beer and whole, a little whole. Yeah. So with uh with chapati, you know how big and how thick and thin it's going to be. That that's really depends on the, the uh, that really depends on the the region. Yeah. So I I made this. Oh. Sorry, I think missed uh, stuff. So when you take the dough out, you just put them into small ball balls. And, and what do you do with the milk? So the milk was actually used to proof it. So you put it in, um, you know, when it when it's basically in dough form, where you're where you're mixing in the the hot water, you mix in the 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 um, the yogurt at that time. So the yogurt. Um, uh, sorry. Oh, okay. I, I thought after the uh, after the um, the go around, I thought you'd do something with the milk, but you don't, right? No. Uh, Can so someone do, eat forty five months? Yeah, let me answer the question. Sorry, you do something with the what? So when the dough rise, you just mm -hmm. cut them up and put them in balls like this. That's right. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Uh, eight balls. That's what I always uh, <laughs> think about. So and I. I how thin? How thin would you balls. roll it? What's up? How thin would you roll it? You know, it's really kind of a cultural thing. I like it thinner. Uh, depending on where you are in India, it's going to be thicker or thinner. Um, but I like to have it end up for the chapati. I like to have it end up you know, the size of my palm. Um, but you know, just see what you like. What's better. the palm? Is you like your the side finger? Actually, it's not my palm. You're right. From the bottom of my palm to the end of my finger. So I like it my hand size. Bottom of here. Hand to size. the end of here? Yeah, hand size. That's it. Oh, oh. palm size, hand size. So we'll, we'll do the same thing with the knot. Can I want to do it? You have one, buddy. You have your own roller over there. Oh, which one? The red one? Yeah, over there, buddy. There's your roller station. Oh. And so. Okay, and the size is really kind of up to you. With uh, non, it's going to rise as it cooks. I think that roughly hand size makes it easier to deal with. It's, uh, it's kind of up to you, though. So now hey, we're I'm sorry. I know you said this already, but I've been focusing my gooey, gooey creation <laughs> over here. 
we, we, I'm going to let, let it proof, and then when it's done proofing in two hours, then we cut it in, into little balls. Yeah, exactly right. You, okay. want, you want it to rise yes. as a ball and then cut it into, into eight. Got it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So it should be adult hand size. Yeah. And so this is where we are here. And I, I kind of made them the same size, which I think most people would probably put a little bit more dough in the, in, in the nun versus the chapati, but. What should I do? Uh, oh, so now I'm going to go to the cooking part. It. I'm going to go help move me? over here. Can you help me? I've got to move all my stuff, so it'll take a minute. <laughs> so it's in my cooking station. Nice fresh bread, Adrian. Pita. Not. Uh, I don't have a, a cast iron oven, so just standard cast iron griddle, but you can use any kind of uh, pan. Uh, you know, what I like to do is turn it on, let it get a little bit hotter. Um, these things are usually intended to be cooked at like 700, 800 degrees, so just let it get hot for about a minute. So the, the other I thing people I, um, generally do is, is, is cover everything with a little bit of oil. Uh, and that's fine. I what I, the know. way I typically do it is I just use a little spray oil. I use a little spray oil. Uh, it lets you put like a, a uniform sheet of oil around it. So I'll do that. I'm going to just wait for this to get a little hotter. And then I'll, uh, I'll, uh, you do that spray on both sides or just one yeah, side? You, you want to spray on both sides because you want it to, um, you, you don't want the raw, because basically the, the it's going to get Daddy, a transfer the heat a little bit better. Away. So I'll Thanks. just spray it like this. I mean, you can brush oil on it as well. Um, traditionally, you use ghee, uh, which is clarified butter. So you can use butter or ghee if you want. But you know, I'm fine with olive oil spray. Although I do recommend um, make sure you don't get one with too much uh, propellant in it. Sometimes they put a lot of weird stuff in the spray oil. Daddy, I uh, finished. Then, Daddy, this is yeah. the kitchen. And I'll put the, uh, the oil on. I'll put a little bit of oil on the, the pan to begin with. And then, so this is my chapati. I'll stick it on. I've oiled both sides. And then, um, ideally, you'll see some bubbles. I mean, that's like the gold standard to get some bubbles pop up. Am I going to get bubbles? Probably not. But we'll see what happens. Maybe like little tiny bubbles, but not, not much. I have a question. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to put uh, oil, could you put the oil on um, the non, the dough uh, with a brush? Yes, definitely. That's probably the more traditional way to do it is to do it with a brush. And again, most people would use ghee instead of oil or, or butter. Well, I just Thank you. I have a question. Did you use anything to, I, I missed the part where you rolled it out. Did you use anything or just a rolling pin? Just a rolling pin. Okay. There are some specialty rolling pins for this. But, uh, Daddy! So make your next one, actually. Yep. Where's the next one? Jay, what, what age were you when you started making uh, oh. uh, chapati? Uh, I, used to, I used to make the balls when I was probably about uh, in second or third grade. But I, I had a big family. I, we, were, we had five kids, so we'd have to like... Daddy, what know, about this one? Spend a lot of time on food for the whole smoke? family. What about this <laughs> What about the other ball? And so I, I would, you know, personally, I put a little bit more oil on as I see it, just because I don't want it to look dry. Yeah. 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 Ye
So if I see it look a little dry, then I'll put a little bit of more, more oil on it. So, but it's, you know, a couple sprays before you put it on because you want it wet uh, when you put it on and then maybe a spray or two while you're uh, cooking it. Daddy, how do you like that? Put it on. Put it on. So when the chapati is done, it's going to look something like this. It probably needs like another minute or so. But you want to see, you want it like slightly browned. And again, you can see the whole wheat flour, slightly browned. Uh, I finished rolling one. I finished rolling one. That's probably good enough. You don't want it burned. There's a little bit of bubbles, but you know, if you're a professional at this, you can make uh, really big bubbles, and there's all sorts of tricks you can do there, but that's not there yet. Um, so again, with the non same basic thing, put some oil on it. Um, I like the spray oil because I have a, one that doesn't have any propellant in it. Um, so it goes on pretty easily. And then I just toss it on. Now the difference is it should rise quite a bit more. We'll see if it does in real life, but it should be thicker. And it's again bubbling a little bit more. I see bubbles. It's okay. It's okay. It looks good. Yeah. I don't know if anybody else that has a camera where they can point to what they're uh, baking. That'd be cool. Let us know. We can sh can highlight you on uh, cultural cooking, not like library TV. And the key is the bubbles. When you, when you do a good job when you're baking, you get bubbles. So that's the bubbly texture of, uh, of non -food. Oh, I see some good rolling over there. What does it look like now? It's nice and bubbly. That's it, right? Is it good? Yeah, I think this is done. This is a good one. That looks so good. It. Looks good. So we've got uh, the chapati, and they're both hot. But, not, ouch. but uh, <laughs> <laughs> so this yeah, is a little I'm fluffier. No, yeah, you can touch it's it. Actually, it's a little flatter. Um, but uh, they're both. Uh, ah! I made them both the same size. Most of the time, people will make non bigger than chapati. But, you know, you do whatever you, you feel like. Um, the, which one's the non, and which one's the chapati? The chapati is going to be the thinner one. And oh, the chapati, chapati has no salt. Oh, the chapati and also has no yeast. No yeast, no salt. And the naan has yeast and salt, uh, and it's a little thicker. Because it's and it's still a special like ingredient of yogurt. Oh. Um, ingredient if you were going to make garlic naan, do you saute the garlic first, or you, what do you do? Uh, you, you put it in, because the yeast is going to eat it all anyways. So it's uh, whether you saute it or you don't saute it, it all gets absorbed by the yeast anyway. You mean the garlic? The or? garlic, yeah. Whatever you put in the dough is going to get eaten by the yeast. Okay, so put the garlic in when you're de kneading the dough, not afterwards. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And okay. a lot, but a lot of times, the other thing people do is they um, they put garlic and cilantro and they mix it with uh, um, mix it with the butter that you butter it on on top when you're when you're cooking it. Ooh. And garlic and cilantro are typically uh, what you would top it with. Some people put, after you're done, they put more garlic and cilantro, which is always good. But... <laughs> so uh, I, any, any questions now? I had a couple of slides to show what to, to eat it with. So are you saying that you could put the um, garlic and the cilantro in the pan when you have the dough there? So I would, um, so the cilantro, I would wait till the end, but the garlic, uh, I would mix it with the butter or the oil. And then when you brush yeah, it on, yeah, you get I it, get it. Then, then it'll roast a little that way too. Thank you. That one's a chapati, that one's a 
Yeah, you're right, buddy. That's what you're about. That's been looks delicious. I have my beef naan over here. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, it's, you know, it's got a couple hours to go. Oh, that looks good. It's nice. Um, um, yeah. You know, it makes a big difference to get to the to keep kneading. It definitely yeah, yeah. Yeah. And naan has more bumps on it. That's right. Because the yeast makes the bumps. That's some good science right there, too, right? Thomas family, some good science in, in baking. So I can show uh, what you typically eat it with and just some simple suggestions as well. Daddy, so can you help me? I think it's ready for cooking, buddy. Why don't you bring it over here? We'll cook it in a second. Yeah, let me, let me show them how to, how to eat it. And then, um, so yeah, you, you could eat it with bananas. Some people eat it with bananas. That's why it said banana chapati there. And my screen is blinking, but you probably can't see that. I guess it's okay. So, and curries, vegetable curries are very common in most of India. Uh, that's an eggplant curry in India. They love the like small eggplants. Uh, chana masala, just, you know, garbanzo beans. It's very, very common. Uh, and uh, we're from Southwest India uh, in a state of Kerala. So we eat a lot of meat in Kerala. So meat curries are very common for us. Uh, and again, with naan, we'll eat it with either meat or vegetable curries. You'll put um, cilantro and everything. Remember, cilantro Daddy. and coriander are the same thing. Oh. And then this is five ways to turn naan into dinner. You can do pizza style. You can uh, do it as a, a pita. You got lots of choices here. You can do naan tacos. Daddy. Um, but, you know, just to... Daddy, can you teach me naan? Yeah, I just... But if you want just something simple to cook it with, just get some, just get some chickpeas and uh, out of the can and just toss them in the pan. You can just put a little oil on, a little salt and pepper, and then you've got something that's uh, great to start with. Or hummus, hummus always works well with these things. So um, paneer is another one. Oh, paneer is a kind of cheese you can cook with. You can cut it into little cubes, marinate it, and cook it. Again, really good uh, topping. Or you can use regular cheese if that's what you have. Um, but yeah, you can, you can eat it with anything. Mommy's going to roll the rest of the But I roll the naan by myself. Akshay, I have a question for you and your, and your dad. When, so for like the, the naan, I, it's, it's proofing now for the next two hours. If I, you know, if I don't have time to cook it, bake it tonight, can I put it in the refrigerator? Probably not. No, don't do that. Yeah, it probably won't work out. It's probably gonna, it's gonna eventually it's gonna collapse and then it'll get super sour and then you probably have to repeat the process a bit. Got it. So basically, I need to know that I have my two and a half hours to get it done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. After you make it, you can refrigerate. You'll just have to eat it out. extra late. I like to eat Akshay, so I I'm prepared to do that. <laughs> You'll have to eat extra late today, huh? Cool. Well, Thank uh, you. Any other questions? Thank you so much to the entire Thomas family for a really Thank cool, you very much. Uh, Thank you for, uh, baking uh, demo, interactive non inch party. So thank you. And don't forget also on Saturday, to check out also Saturday, November 13th at Island Beach from 3.30 to 5.30, a big Diwali celebration with dancing and henna and more food. More food. So I'm gonna tell everybody how my non came out. It's looking good so far. Does anyone else want to share before we go, Mrs. Cavelli? Any food to show? No. Okay. Oh, well, hold on one second. I see. Let me let me get a spotlight over here. I see a spotlight. Oh, cool. That looks good. Oh, and we got some more coming. I think. Nice. All right. See the green fords are rolling away. So, all right. Thank you, everybody, for being part of another great cultural cooking event. Thank you, Thomas family. Um, have a great uh, night. And we'll uh, see everybody Thank you. soon. Okay. Bye. Thanks a lot. Okay. Happy Diwali.